You're not what you drink or eat. You are what you absorb. Maybe you are drinking water. Maybe you have been drinking water. Maybe you feel like you're slightly overdoing water. I want you to keep in mind that you are not what you drink or ingest. You're not what you drink or eat. You are what you absorb. If you are taking something, drinking something, eating something, it doesn't help you unless it gets absorbed. So what's one of the major, major keys to absorb body water and nutrients into your cells? This is the key, electrolytes. 19 symptoms that you could be low in electrolytes of how and what to be aware of. Number one, muscle cramping, huge warning sign, any kind of restless leg or muscle cramping, electrolytes. Abdomen cramping, you just get cramping in the gut, in the stomach area, electrolytes. If you're getting regular headaches, electrolytes. Feeling irritable, feeling fatigued, exhausted and grumpy, get electrolytes in. Maybe your husband needs some electrolytes. Numbness and tingling, start with electrolytes. Give the electrical transmitters to the nervous system. That's what they do, unexplained confusion, okay? Maybe you're just like, wow, I just, you know, I didn't remember that or I was just a little twisted today. Get some electrolytes in, help your brain electrical activity. Elevated heart rate especially when you're at rest. It electrolytes. The heart requires electrolytes in order to conduct electricity and pump. If you're lacking energy, if you're lacking enthusiasm, electrolytes, feeling queasy, electrolytes. Diarrhea or constipation, electrolytes. Weak muscles, you're not getting the power you need. Put in the electrolytes. They're needed to produce the energy and to run the muscles in general. Stiff, achy joints, electrolytes. Your heartbeat is irregular, electrolytes. Convulsions, seizures, get more electrolytes in. If the urine is getting darker, we gotta put more electrolytes. If you're drinking a lot of water and it's still dark, electrolytes. Dry mouth, foul breath, dry skin, electrolytes or if you're just not sweating the way that you should, electrolytes. Electrolytes are so involved with the generation of energy, big energy in the body, it regulates it. They're not energy themselves, but they regulate all the energy production in you. They conduct the electricity of the nervous system, they produce and regulate the hormones like your stress hormone, adrenaline, aldosterone, antidiuretic hormones, they promote restful sleep, they regulate muscle contractions, they regulate blood pressure, and they maintain fluid balance. Electrolytes, so what's the best way to replace your electrolytes? Well, it's certainly not this stuff. There's nine teaspoons of sugar in a 20 ounce Gatorade. It's crazy. I think someone's spouse probably needs to hear this. 20 ounces, and then, oh no, I get the sugar-free version. Even worse, especially because aspartame just the other day is now getting even deeper ties and links to carcinogenic properties. So using those artificial ones are no better, but avoiding that, you can get some electrolytes from tap water, you can also get electrolytes from a few sports drinks, but you gotta be very careful. Many of them pack a whole lot more of the recommended daily intake of sodium and potassium, but minimal magnesium or calcium. So they don't balance the hormones properly and there's so much sugar in them. Nine teaspoons is like enough to stop your weight loss efforts dead in their tracks. There's certain fruits and vegetables that you can get that have electrolytes in them. Bananas, watch the sugar content though. It's not you can never have them, it's just a lot of us aren't at our ideal goal weight or we're trying to lose weight, so that's not the ideal source. Avocados and spinach, but most simply, a lot of you just don't grab those or don't incorporate them into your food enough. So rather than hope you have some of these food at home or ask you to go to the store, pick them up and then actually make them and eat them and get them regularly, if you are awesome, an easier solution I wanted to give you that you can do in 30 seconds a day to surge energy, recover more, boost your immune health and power your heart. 80% of Americans today are already deficient in magnesium and 98% of Americans are also deficient in potassium. This is really bad news when it comes to losing weight or achieving optimal health because magnesium is needed to help the body burn fat. Potassium is essential to help the body turn carbs and proteins into energy. So this is another reason why eating healthy alone just doesn't cut it. You gotta have proper nutrients in that we oftentimes don't get enough of. I'm not saying don't eat fruits and vegetables. Eat as many as you can, they're good, they are. It's just in this day and age, we have to make supplementation or we gotta put extra electrolytes in, in in order to get all of the minerals and the vitamins that we need to achieve peak health. It's not possible to get everything from just produce with the habits of the way that we eat. Unless you're a mega, 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 mega fruit and vegetable eater. It's not like it was, you know, in our grandparents' time when we were on a farm. As modern farming methods, they've started to deplete the farm soil, which causes significant changes in magnesium and potassium especially. Those levels are dropping in our fruits, in our vegetables. So the soils become a lot less nutrient dense attacking big energy, achieving more energy. 
because electrolytes are so crucial to your success, sodium, potassium, magnesium, chloride, we don't get the proper amounts of electrolytes in from real food sources. So strongly, 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 strongly recommend that you grab some while following the big energy tracker, drinking your water, doing your breathing and drive water into your cells. That is exactly why I created the big energy challenge tracker. It is as simple as you think. Each day you will track your water and your breathing. So each day, getting your half your body weight in ounces of water, color it in or exit off. Each day, one to three times of doing your one minute breathing exercises, check it off. Each day, ingesting electrolytes. So putting in your electrolytes in your body, check it off. So that counts towards your water total. This is easy. Can you get this done? Each day, if you just focused on this for one month, I wonder where you'd be when you got to this point right here. The Big Energy Challenge Tracker. It is yours. It's below. There's a link to it. Along with it, you'll have some different, just non straight up water recipes in there for you to do it. You got the recommendations on how to do the breathing exercises, but you've got the Big Energy Tracker. You can start working your way through and implementing these. A little twist to it again. Very simple. Drink enough water, half your body weight in ounces, check it off. Do your breathing exercises each day, check it off. Drink your electrolytes, check it off. If you committed to only that, not even including the exercises, not even including detoxing, not even including any advanced protocol, just putting water, breathing, and electrolytes in your system, what it would do for your energy, what it would do for your life. The big energy challenge tracker is there. Start drinking more water, breathing more, and getting the electrolytes absorption in. You got the link right there for you. The main thing right now is how can you get started? Okay. You got the tracker at minimum. Everyone can be doing that. Make sure you don't go to bed at night until you get your water in, you got your breathing in and you got your electrolytes in. You can do the electrolytes in the morning. You can do them in the afternoon. Doesn't really matter either one. Okay. I do mine kind of early afternoon. All right, you guys, there it is. Share this video, help someone else get some big energy. They can grab the free tracker. They could start getting more water. They could start breathing more. They could get electrolytes in. You can help someone else right now by just hitting share, paying it forward, sending them the link to this video. Trying to help as many of you as we possibly can with these free resources. And just like this, very simple things we can be doing for health. Health does not have to be complicated. There's simple steps you can take. You just gotta be consistent with it. Tracking it will get you that progress. Go make it a great day. You might as well. You're never gonna get it back.